They just did a final call for my flight. Uh, I didn't hear the initial call. China. Maybe a little. Depends on what you bring back. Yeah, man. I'm sad that you're not taking it. All right, let's go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the countdown begins. We got just under a million things to do in less than 24 hours. So let's get it done. You know, our different categories of business, whether it's video, social, creative, strategy, or the analytics part, our model is everything is intertwined. You know what I mean? Yeah question from Joseph and he asked me are you ready for the trip and I said hell no is it all gonna get done probably not that doesn't mean I'm not gonna get it done it just means I have a couple things to do while I'm in China I'm highly confident that you'll get it done. I'll get it done all right it just happens to be raining on the last 24 hours that I'm leaving so yeah Good morning, everybody. Today is the day stopping here at the office, and then we're off to the airport. Let's hurry up and get there because we're running kind of late. Yalla, let's go. Late. What? We're late. We're gonna make it. Well, we made it to the airport just in time. Let's get to this flight. line here but you know we ain't finna wait thankful to be able to skip the line always using that uh, sky priority excited for this trip to China it's gonna be very fun I think excited for new experiences. What I wanna show you guys on the vlog is actually visiting all the non-touristy places, as many as I can, because I am personally not like a touristy type of guy when I travel. If I wanna be with people on this trip that are from these respective cities. Although I'm not picky, I am a little worried about the food though. So, that's what everyone complains about, they said, Food is just hard to find. Not, I mean, you can probably find good food a lot of places, but is it something that I'll try right off the bat? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe if you guys thumbs up enough on YouTube, then we'll have to try some stuff. Asakusa. So we made it to Tokyo here in the Narita airport for about three hours until we head to Shanghai. Probably gonna find the lounge, chill out for two hours or so until it's time to board. They just did a final call for my flight. Uh, I didn't hear the initial call. There's the flight. Let's catch it. Let's go. We made it. Just made it. It's 
so I haven't even been in for 30 seconds and I realize it's gonna be a language problem. Well here's the first challenge. My flight came in a little bit later than all the group and so there's no drivers for me to take, take me to the hotel which means I'm gonna have to take the metro. Hope I don't get lost. First impression, it's friggin' hot. There's a train, let's catch it. Let's go. Now time to find the hotel. Just my luck, starting to rain. Gotta walk, probably 10 minutes, but we'll be there. After a long journey, almost 24 hours, we're here. Tomorrow, it's gonna be a good day. Probably waking up super early, gonna hustle for these two and a half weeks that I'm here. Gonna try and meet as many people as I can, gonna try and connect, because that's what it is. At the end of the day, this experience is priceless, although everything is free. Very thankful to be here, excited to explore China. Let's get it. <laughs> 